congratulations. Very impressive victory under an hour straight sets. Assess your performance. Yeah, um, really exciting. Getting my first win at the U.S. Open, uh, third time's a charm. Um, so, yeah, just happy to uh, have played some good tennis today and, um, you know, feeling feeling some good momentum going into the second round. Um, and, uh, yeah, I feel like, um, yeah, I'm playing good tennis and uh, excited for uh, another match. Okay, thank you. Congratulations. As you yeah. said, your first match win in your city of origin. Um, what does that mean to you? Is it, you feel as if a hurdle has been crossed. You've crossed many hurdles this year. Um, yeah, a little bit. I think uh, it was pretty cool coming out on court seven and outside court. And, um, you know, I didn't really think about what the crowd would be like, but walking out there and um, the stands were full was a pretty cool feeling, um, you know, because I've walked out on outside courts before where the stands were empty and, um, you know, to walk out there and have the stands be full and, um, you know, the majority of the crowd uh, being behind me was really cool and um, definitely felt the love out there. And, um, yeah, it's cool to do it in the city that I was born in and um, in the country that I live in and I feel... Um, you know, just really proud to come from. You're ranked 12th. You were 57 one year ago. Only Iga has won more than your 41 matches. Can you get a grip on that? I mean, that that's amazing, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Um, you know, number 12, it's knocking on the door of the, the top 10. And, um, you know, it's it's pretty insane to think about. Um, and, you know, when I zoom out, it does feel um, pretty crazy. But then I zoom back in and, um, you know, the stuff that I'm working on, it's, it's the same stuff or similar stuff that, um, you know, I was working on a year ago, just maybe at a higher level. And, um, you know, the goals, my goals stay the same and, um, you know, individual day to day stuff is, it's pretty similar to how it's always been, um, you know, with the additions of, you know, a few things, but, um, yeah, I think it's, it's cool to be able to zoom out and, um, you know, kind of appreciate, uh, where I've come from and where I'm at now and, and then zoom back in and, um, you know, just get really detail oriented. You played a couple WTA 125s earlier this year. You played in Monterey last week. This is your fifth tournament in five weeks. Why did you play Monterey? And that very few people did what you did, played the Olympics, played Toronto, played Cincinnati. Um, trying to get my uh, six 500s in <laughs> um, is part of it. And then also, Monterey is a great tournament. Um, and, yeah, I love to uh, just kind of stay in match mode, I think. Um, you know, it's... It's tiring in one sense to always be in that mode where, you know, I have to play a match tomorrow. Um, but in the other sense, I think um, constantly putting yourself in the arena, it allows um, for a lot of growth. And, you know, every match is a learning experience. So um, as if I can be in the arena, um, the more I can be in the arena, the more I can learn. Um, so, you know, I'm always, always trying to get in there and get uncomfortable and, um, yeah, just, uh, improve myself. Okay. We're good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.